The Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland (RCSI, Irish: Colaist Ríoga na Mainly in Aorin is a professional association and educational institution that is responsible for the medical speciality of surgery throughout the island of Ireland. Uniquely among the four mutually recognised Royal Surgical Colleges in the United Kingdom and Ireland, it also incorporates a medical school, which is now Ireland's largest with over 3,000 students from 60 countries. RCSI's main campus is situated on St Stephen's Green in Dublin, having received its Royal Charter in 1784. At present, it incorporates schools of medicine, pharmacy, physiotherapy and nursing, and thus provides both undergraduate and postgraduate levels of education and research activities in a number of healthcare fields. History Guild Since medieval times, the practice of surgery was licensed by the Barber Surgeons Guild, also known at the time as the Guild of St. Mary Magdalene. The Guild Chapel was in Christ Church Cathedral. Guild membership at that time was obtained by a three-year apprenticeship followed by two years as a master. In fact the College of Surgeons maintained a mandatory period of apprenticeship to a qualified surgeon until 1828. In 1446, the Guild of St. Mary Magdalene of Barbers was incorporated by royal decree of Henry VI, becoming the first medical corporation in Britain or Ireland. Towards a College of Surgeons In 1765 Sylvester O'Halloran, a surgeon from Limerick, proposed a College of Surgeons along the lines of the College de Saint Cosme in Paris, which had been regulating French surgeons since it had been created by royal charter by Louis IX in 1255, to train and regulate surgeons. The Dublin Society of Surgeons was founded in 1780 at the Elephant Public House on Essex Street, now Parliament Street. Trinity College did not teach surgery as a subject until 1851, so Ireland was entirely without a school focused on surgery. To have a separate organisation focused on providing standardised surgical education became one of the goals of the society and they lobbied for a royal charter, in 1781 presenting the Lord Lieutenant a petition to be incorporated separately from the barbers. The awaited charter was granted by King George III on of February 1784. The governing body, including the first President Samuel Croker King and William Dees, first professor of surgery, met in the boardroom of the Rotunda Hospital for the first time on 2 March. Importantly, admission or employment was not discriminated against on sectarian grounds. Two of its chief founders, Sylvester O'Halloran and William Dees, as well as eleven out of its first 57 presidents, were Catholics. The college also recognized the medical qualifications given by the Catholic University from 1856, which gave legitimacy to their diplomas. The first candidate for examination was John Birch, in August 1784. <laughs> York Street The current location, at the corner of York Street, was acquired in September 1805, with additional land at Glover's Alley bought in 1809. It was previously an abandoned Quaker burial ground. The Duke of Bedford laid the first stone of the new building on St. Patrick's Day, 1806 and building reached completion in March 1810. A supplemental charter was granted by Queen Victoria in 1844, dividing medical graduates into licentiates and fellows. Initially, physicians were trained alongside surgeons. 
In 1886 these two disciplines were merged, and the medical school began operation. As a result of this historical legacy, graduates of medicine still receive licentiate diplomas from the two royal colleges as well as now being awarded MB Bachelor of Medicine BCH Bachelor of Surgery and BAU Bachelor of the Art of Obstetrics degrees by the National University of Ireland. Topic: 20th century. During the 1916 Rising, the main college building on St Stephen's Green was occupied by Irish Citizen Army forces, led by Commandant Michael Mullen and Countess Markievicz. After surrendering, both were tried and sentenced to death. Mullen was executed while Markievicz's sentence was commuted due to her gender. RCSI was the first medical institution of learning to offer a four-year graduate entry programme for medicine in Ireland. Now defunct subjects taught include, logic 1852 military surgery 1851 botany 1792 and hygiene or political medicine 1841 then united with Chair of Medical Jurisprudence. Since the 1980s Beaumont Hospital, Dublin has been the principal centre for medical training. Other affiliated hospitals include teaching hospitals such as Connolly Hospital, Royal Victoria Eye and Ear Hospital, and St Joseph's Hospital, Dublin. Twenty first century In 2010, Professor. Eilis McGovern became president of RCSI and thereby the first female president of any surgical royal college in the world. Motto The RCSI motto, Concilio Manuk. Scholarship and Dexterity, was adopted from the Collège de Saint Cosme in Paris, which had been afforded the motto by Louis XIV. It was originally, Consoloque Manouk, his personal motto. <laughs> <laughs> Academic structure Topic: Undergraduate Faculties. School of Medicine, five or six-year program, four-year graduate entry program. School of Pharmacy. School of Physiotherapy. Topic: Postgraduate Schools and Faculties. School of Postgraduate Studies. School of Nursing and Midwifery. Faculty of Dentistry. Faculty of Sports and Exercise Medicine. Faculty of Radiologists. Faculty of Nursing and Midwifery. RCSI Institute of Leadership. Topic: Values and Admissions. RCSI is a culturally diverse, international organization with alumni present in almost every country in the world. It describes its values as innovation, excellence, independence, academic freedom, diversity, tolerance and community. It champions a patient-centric approach to all its activities and endeavors. RCSI now offers undergraduate degrees in medicine, pharmacy and physiotherapy and is the largest Irish medical school. Its primary purpose is the education and training of healthcare professionals and health sciences research. More than 3,800 students representing 60 nations are currently enrolled in its medicine 1, pharmacy 200, and physiotherapy 100 programs. There are 17,000 RCSI alumni working as medical doctors or in allied disciplines around the world. Topic. 
Student life Students at RCSI are encouraged to participate in extracurricular activities that promote service in the community and cultural awareness. 80% of the student population is from outside the European Union, with a significant portion coming from North America, the Middle East and Asia. A complete list of current student societies and clubs can be found on the RCSI website. The Students' Union is an annually elected body, consisting of eight officers. The SU is the college's bridge between faculty and the student body and is invited to most meetings, ensuring that student voices are heard on a variety of topics. The SU works closely with the Student Council, which consists of representatives from all classes at RCSI. The Biological Society is the official student society of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and claims to be the oldest student medical society in the world. <laughs> International aspects and operations As a leading international medical institution, RCSI is active in all medically related sectors of education around the globe. During the South African apartheid, for example, RCSI provided medical education to those that were discriminated against. In 2005, RCSI Dubai was founded and currently offers a master's program in healthcare management. In 2007 RCSI Royal College of Surgeons Ireland in conjunction with Valentia Technologies, the Dublin Fire Brigade DFB, and the Pre-Hospital Emergency Care Council PHECC launched unique training initiative with the Emergency Medical Services Dubai Training Institute. The aim is to better patient care and improve response times within Dubai's emergency ambulance services. In Malaysia, RCSI, together with University College Dublin, UCD, owns a branch campus within Georgetown, the capital city of the state of Penang. Established in 1996, the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and University College Dublin Malaysia Campus RUMC, formerly known as the Penang Medical College, offers twinning programmes in which students typically spend the first half of their courses in either RCSI or UCD, before completing the courses back at RUMC. Meanwhile, the Perdana University Royal College of Surgeon in Ireland in the state of Selangor was established in 2011. The programme hosts up to 100 students per year on its five year undergraduate medical programme. The first cohort graduated in 2016. RCSI Bahrain is a fully owned constituent university of RCSI and already has nearly 450 registered students. The first cohort commenced medical studies in October 2004 and graduates are entitled to a degree of Bachelor of Medicine, NUI, Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Obstetrics MB, BCH, BAU NUI, RCSI degree. In 2006 the Medical University of Bahrain established a new school of nursing which took its first cohort of students in September 2006. Since 2009 students can also obtain the degrees conferred upon RCSI graduates from the National University of Ireland. For students at the home institution of RCSI, options may be taken abroad as a result of collaborative agreements with other medical schools around the world. In 2007, these medical schools included Columbia University, University of Pennsylvania, and Tufts University. There are also informal agreements with other institutions such as the Johns Hopkins University and Mayo Clinic. More than 60 countries from each continent are represented in the RCSI student body. Notable alumni 
Emily Winifred Dixon, the 13th of July 1866 to 1944, was the first woman fellow of any Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland or Great Britain. Pat O'Callaghan, Irish gold medalist at both the 1928 and 1932 Olympic Games. Professor Abraham Coles of Anatomy, the first person to characterize the injury that was later on known as Coles fracture. Sir Ian Fraser (1901–1999) served as president of the college and president of the British Medical Association. Introduced the widespread use of penicillin into military hospitals during the Second World War. Sir William Stokes, knighted for his contribution in the field of surgery. Sir William Wilde, surgeon, author, and father of Oscar Wilde. Era Darcy, Baron Darcy of Denham, Professor of Surgery, Imperial College London and British Minister of Health, who is at the forefront of minimally invasive surgery research Ian Robertson, former star of the Dublin Gaelic football team Felipe Contopomi, former Argentina Rugby Union International Nada Hoffa, became Bahrain's first female minister when she was appointed Minister of Health in 2004 Surgeon Captain Thomas Joseph Crean VCDSO He later achieved the rank of Major Carl Mullen Irish rugby union player and captain of the Grand Slam winning Irish team in 1948 Major General Patrick Dignan, Director of Army Surgery for the British Army between 1973 and 1978. Juan Aziza Juan Ismail, the first Malaysian to be awarded the McNaughton Jones Gold Medal for Obstetrics and Gynecology in 1977, Malaysia's first female Deputy Prime Minister starting May 2018, a politician and the first President of the Malaysian People's Justice Party. T.G. Wilson, surgeon, president of the RCSI 1958 author, founder of the Journal of the College 1963. See also Faculty of Dentistry of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland Irish College of Ophthalmologists List of Presidents of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and University College Dublin Malaysia Campus Perdana University Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland School of Medicine RCSI Institute of Leadership Royal College of Physicians of Ireland Royal College of Surgeons of England <laughs>